box transform the other is going to be the uh excuse me let me actually mute let me actually go ahead and mute this my my uh, phone Um, let's see, and this next one's gonna be the actor. Act talk. Actor. Uh, transform. Well, let's see, actor, collision, transform. There we go. And we're basically gonna be doing the same thing with, uh, Basically, been doing the same thing with it. Uh, pretty much, go set, uh, make their set rela set relative because we want rel because again we want this relative to the uh, the actor and not the world space. And we want to put them. We also want them visible and uh, showing their 3D widget as well. And from there, it's probably gonna get, uh, get a little, com a little bit confusing. Um, real quick, just because I want to clean, uh, make sure the uh, blueprint code is kind of clean. Um, I'm going to add in a sequence. And just start from from ze from zero, then one, then two. Now we'll go ahead and put each uh, each one of them in their set in their set place. And that should be it for the, uh, that should be it. Now, since we got our camera pretty much kind of set up, time to go in the, uh, time to go in the event graph. So, what, uh, what we, uh, what we really need, uh, what we need, really need to do, um, is make sure that whenever the, uh, whenever the, uh, actor goes into a, uh, whenever the player goes into, uh, goes into the, um, goes into the uh uh to the camera we need uh we need it uh, we need it to um say hey there's uh hey there's a player that went into, uh, went the camera uh went into the camera uh the, the camera actor let's uh switch our view to uh to that ca uh, to that camera so basically we're pretty much going to uh switch view uh view can uh switch View camera from what uh, wherever the uh, wherever we were before to what we uh, where we're at now. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started with that. What well, uh, first we're going to need is pretty much get the actor's collision. The actor's collision is going to do all the um, overlapping bi uh, bits that we need. And from there, we're going to need to know if uh, we want to know what actor is being uh, is going to uh, walk in here. So far, I'm using the size scroll camera, uh, size scroll char character. So we're going to um, make a cast to size scroller cam uh, character that if uh, whoever walks in here, and we want to check if it's, uh, we want we re really want to check if it's the. Uh, we really want to check if it's the uh, <clears throat> player, uh, the player actor uh, itself, which is the side scroll camera. We want to make sure that that's that's the ones being touched. If it's not, don't even bother with them. Now, since uh, since we're uh, since now we want to check if it's, if it's true. Uh, when when it's true, we want to uh, then flip uh, flip the uh, player's controller's view to one put. One place to another. So, first we're gonna need to get this. Uh, we're gonna need to get the uh, 
player controller. Assuming that, uh, assuming that, assuming that we are well doing this for a sing, uh, for a single player. Uh, multiplayer will pretty much be the same, uh, kind of be the same thing, unless you're uh, unless it's gonna be a local multiplayer uh, local multiplayer thing. But then have, then we gotta do something di uh, do something different. But for now, this is gonna be uh, morely focused on the uh, player cameras the player cameras uh, the uh, single player system. We'll ask for a player control. Uh, we want to get the player controller, and then we want to drag this out. Uh, and we want to get the uh, view tar uh, get the view target. We want to set the view target with a blend, and we want to set uh, our player controller's uh, view target with this one. And that should be straightly about it. Actually, no. We could pretty much go ahead and make, uh, make this a little bit one step for, uh, a bit one step further, real quick. Uh, what I'm gonna do is actually drag uh, drag out and uh, promote some uh, promote some variables. Um, just uh, just one so we can actually extend uh, pretty much extend to ed, uh, extend to add out if you want to uh, do some. Really awesome transitions from one side to uh, one point to another. So, uh, blend. We're gonna pretty much grab uh, blend time and make a variable for it. We'll call this. Uh, we'll call this blend time. Cause, yeah. The next one, we're just gonna do, uh, do the same with uh, with each and every one. And just call this blend, call them by what what, what they're being called uh, called by. And do this with blend exp. Do this with blend experience. Exp. And lock out going. We'll leave that alone for right now. That uh, right now, these three is really what I ca uh, really what I care about. With that taken care of, um, we want to. Well, actually, I want to see if. Uh, well, I won't be able to tell. Actually, I will be able to tell. Actually, because uh, because once I uh, we can pretty much test this out because pretty much we can pretty much test this out right now. So. Real quick, I'll go ahead and compile, and we'll uh, open up the open up the game. The, so far, the um, camera should be on my left. So if I walk through here, hey, the, uh, hey, I lost. Uh, we lost a few of the camera and everything else, but we're pretty much able to uh, see that we're pretty much able to see that the camera system uh, is pretty much working as as intent as intended. Real quick. Let's go ahead and make these functions editable, and we're gonna give it, uh, put them in their own category. So let me go ahead and drag this. Uh, let's go ahead and actually make this category and call this camera view blend or camera view. Yeah, we'll do it. Uh, we'll actually do, we'll actually do something with the camera view. Oh, um, now think about it, but actually we'll, uh, we'll get, uh, we'll get, we'll come back to while I was thinking, uh, I'm pretty much going to come back while, uh, while I'm thinking about it. but I want to actually try to make, uh, make, um, one, uh, a camera system where his ear is going to be, uh, uh, pers um, perspective mode or, in, uh, orthodox mode. Okay. I don't think it's called orthodox, but. When uh when that time when uh I get when when I get my camera systems taken care of, I'll uh, I'll explain I'll explain what I'll be trying to what I'll be trying to do. Um, let's see what else. <clears throat> no, we got that taken care of. Let's go ahead and actually uh use uh use the thing use this what I want to is using the tick. Uh, tick here is gonna be very important. 
uh, especially when I tr when you try and get the uh, get the camera, uh, when, especially when you try to get the camera going. So first, we're gonna make, uh, need that uh, we're gonna need this camera, and we need to set this camera in the world space instead of uh, instead of uh, relative, because the reason uh, the reason why we go uh, put the uh, put the camera into uh, world space instead of relative, because we don't want the camera to go moving uh, go moving around create uh, moving around crazy. Uh, I don't know. Let me explain that much more better. We don't want since the uh, since the actor is going is going to walk into the uh, walk into the camp walk into the since the I'm gonna take it slow since the player is going to walk into the actor's collision we want it to just. We want to uh, focus. Uh, we want to know where it is in the world space instead of where it is in the actor space, because if you try to do it, if you try to set it, uh, set it to relative, it will go and it will not go the direction that you expected uh, expected to go. So we're going to go ahead and set this to world uh, world space. Set this. Uh, set the uh, location and rotation. Mm. We want to set the we want to set this world location and rotation. No, no, no. Actually, we want to set this world location, and we'll we'll leave the uh, rotation uh, on its own, on its own. But this is pretty much what uh, pretty much what we want right now. So now we got that taken care of. We now want to uh, we now want to tr uh, we now want to. Uh, <clears throat> Make uh make sure this ca uh this player uh this camera is pretty much following the uh ah, it's pretty much following the actor, so we want to get the uh play uh the player the player let's see we want to get the player's character it's, uh or the player's pawn ear uh, ear one's earway works but fo uh right now we want the player's character. And we want to get the players. Uh, we want to get the players' uh, location. So pretty much, player look. Uh, get player actor. Get actor's location. Not only that, we also want to get the. We also want to get the camera. Uh, the get the camera's uh world's location. So pretty much, grab the uh. Grab the camera and grab its world location. Um, we'll also go ahead and put. Uh, we'll also go ahead and put it in the t uh, get the, the event tick uh, into the uh, set world location for right now. Now we got most of our, we got most of our things taken care of. But how? But how the heck we got? Uh, we want to uh, constrict our camera from ever uh, leaving its uh, leaving the cameras. Uh, Ever leaving the actress bounds, or more likely, le ever leaving the cameras bound by uh, ever from ever leaving the camera's bound box. Well, that's where we got the camera bound box for. Pretty much, let's go ahead and grab. Let's go and grab and uh, grab a get on the camera bound box, and for and we want to grab its bounding box. So, let's see. Get component bounds. That is, yeah, that should be it. I think. I thought it'd be like a box bound or anything, but this seems to be this pretty much be the right one. So, what this uh, what this little function does is pretty much it tells us where uh, it also it tells us where the uh, where the box is at in world space and where uh, what point uh, what size is the box uh, box is at the origin the box extent. Um, pretty, pretty much the origin is pretty much tell where it is in space, and the box is in is pretty much how how big it is. Pretty much, uh, what's the uh what's the box extent? That little thing back in the viewport, the where we have let's just go and select uh just uh, like um camera bound box. This little uh, this little thing right here where it t just talks about the uh where it talks about the uh, box extent. That's uh that's what we want. So. 
we uh but how but how we go translate uh, how does this translate to how we go 